Scorpio, what's going on? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm coming to you with your general love reading for December 2020. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is general. If you want a personal love reading, the link is in the description box of $35 for a love tower reading. Vimeo will have your bonus reading up for December. How does your partner feel? Whoever you're dealing with, what's on their mind, how they view you, what's going on in their feelings and emotions, what are they not saying, how they would like to move forward, what's going on behind the scenes, roadblocks, challenges, and the outcome, okay? So check that out on Vimeo for December, okay? Scorpio. And let's get right into your reading. So I'm going to um, get some Oracle cards out here and get you your messages. Let's see what's happening. If this hits home, I mean, if this hits home, if you guys feel this resonates and it hits home for you guys, like, share, comment, subscribe, okay? Clear messages, Scorpio, Scorpio, December, what's going on? Thank you all for your love and support of my channel, getting me to 50,000 subscribers. Could not have done it without you. I appreciate it, okay? Any more, any messages here for Scorpio? Scorpio. Okay, let's get one more card. Scorpio. Scorpio, I mean Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. five okay let's just take them no more bad decisions okay so you could be dealing with someone scorpio who so who made some bad judgment call some bad decisions about this connection okay i feel like they were either they did something that may have cost the connection right it may have sabotaged a connection in some way it may be a reason as to why you guys have split i'm getting this person may have been living on the dark side they could have been gambling taking risks they could have been dealing with other people third parties um getting some reckless behavior okay fears and anxieties whoever you're dealing with scorpio they may be having some fears and anxieties now about the connection about their wrongdoings okay certainly if you guys are separated and they lost you they could be fearful right very anxious about what's going to happen next we have reciprocity um adjustments are being made so this is someone who wants to make adjustments to their life to um perhaps try to win you back or they know that there's an adjustment that's needed on their part right Think about like that Six of Pentacles energy. This is someone who perhaps was not giving to you entirely. They may have been breadcrumbing you or giving very little or not investing you in you in the connection fully, okay? So reciprocity could have been an issue here, um, a need for balancing of the scales. We have good old times, back to the good old times and passion and desire still alive. So whoever you're dealing with, I feel like they, are, they definitely... Are thinking about you okay i feel like they could be reminiscing of the times you guys have spent with each other the six of cups type energy this is someone who um reflects nostalgia a lot of good thoughts a lot of good memories of you guys taking vacations together going out to eat dating laughing netflix and chilling whatnot this is someone who thinks about those good old times all right the passion and desire is still alive so whoever you're dealing with they could definitely um still desire you i'm getting very very strong attraction sexual energy here okay there could have been a lot of chemistry between you guys all right we got a lot of messages let's get into your reading scorpio if this is home like share comment subscribe if it resonates don't forget to check out your bonus reading up on vimeo all right let's see what's up let's write this out we have a lot of messages here I usually don't take four cards. Let me know if y'all like these oracle cards and this layout, okay? This type of spread. I'm doing things a little different, okay? No more bad decisions. What the hell? What's this about? Ooh, five of cups. So someone feels regretful for something that they've done in the past. So some kind of decision that they made or perhaps they didn't make, okay? And they're now regretting it, right? This is someone who has some remorse about something that they've done, okay? And this is someone who's saying, okay, they're saying to themselves, maybe they didn't say to you, Scorpio, out front, but this is someone who's like, okay, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to continue to live my life this way. I don't want to continue to um, be involved with third parties i don't want to continue to drink i don't want to continue to 
any any bad decisions that they've made in the past, okay? It could be bad habits. It could be something that was toxic, okay? They're having regrets because of perhaps they've lost you. Now they're looking back at the situation. There's some cups that have spilled over, right? Get some more messages here for Scorpio. Ooh, King of Cups. There you are. This is someone, Scorpio, who looks at you like they're King of Cups. There's a lot of love here, a lot of nurturing. You've been so patient and understanding with this person. You've made a lot of sacrifices in love because you truly love this person. And I feel like they could have really, like, you know, done some crazy things in the past that, you know, maybe they've mistreated you or said some mean, hurtful things, but they realize that they do love for you. They view you as their King of Cups. Cancer, I mean Cancer. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, Scorpio... This is you. It could be masculine or feminine, okay? That's what I wanted to say. All right, King of Cups. So, yeah, this is someone who, they have emotions for you. They may not have um, shown it, okay? They may not have acted like they truly cared for you, Scorpio. Ooh, the sun came out. Leo energy. So, you know, there's enlightenment here. There's clarity that you do mean a lot to them, that you do mean the world to them. This is someone, Scorpio, who may not have seen it before. They may have passed you up. They may have not been committal, right? Bad decisions. Whatever decision that they, they made that was bad, yeah, this person regrets it because they love you. They have a lot of emotions for you, and they're now getting clarity that you mean the world to them. There's a lot of happiness. There's a lot of... I'm also seeing healing energy around the connection, okay? So if their person had to go through something here, I mean, if they were dealing with some kind of toxicity, addiction, karmics, whatever, this is someone who's now come to some kind of realization now that whatever they were doing, whoever they were involved in wasn't good for them, okay? And they see happiness, enlightenment here with you. Happiness, joy, peace, harmony, all that. Fears and anxieties with the tower card. Scorpio, there you are. That's your energy coming out up in your reading. So someone... It's going through a tower moment here, Scorpio, right? You pulled back or maybe you guys are in separation now. Now this person is going through the dark night of the soul. The rug is being ripped up from under them. There's a lot of um, destruction in their life. Things are not happening the way they envision. This is the universe saying, you know what? Whatever you've been doing, it just ain't working no more, right? You got to change. So this is someone who's now facing their fears and anxieties, okay, about themselves, about Things that maybe they've been putting off in this connection, okay? Things that they need to change, right? Because a tower is going to cause some change. It's like ready or not, that's it, okay? So let's see. Why is the tower here with fears and anxieties? I can't take all these cards. The Knight of Pentacles. I'm just going to look at them real quick. So this is someone who's watching you. Page of Swords, Eight of Wands, in Reverse. They're not talking to you. They're not communicating, but they're definitely keeping an eye on you. And they're in this fear and anxiety energy, okay? This is someone who does see you as someone that they can have a stable life with. The Knight of Pentacles, they may have been very cautious as to offering you a commitment. Scorpio is what I'm seeing in the past. And now this person is fearful that perhaps you're getting away. Because they're, they're so curious about what's going on with you, but they're not telling you. So there's still some stagnancy here. There's still some delays in the connection. I do feel like your person is, they're, they're going through a lot right now for sure, which may also be the reason as to why they can't communicate with you. They have not reached out, but I do see them watching you. They're definitely keeping a watchful eye on you, checking your social media, what's going on with Scorpio, who's Scorpio talking to, that kind of thing, okay? Because they do see building themselves or building their life here with you because you did provide stability to their life. Some of, them, some of you guys, they look at you as being their number one supporter, like anything that they've gone through, you were in their corner, you were like their backbone, okay? So reciprocity, we have adjustments that are being made, so there may be adjustments that are taking place here with your person. They know that they have to change or adjust their way of doing something here. Ooh, the lovers, Gemini energy. This is someone who's coming to union with you. This is someone who realizes that you are everything that they really wanted, right? They, this is a decision here, right? In order to make this decision to come together in the union, they know that they're gonna have to do better. They're going to have to recipro uh, reciprocate. <laughs> They're going to have to reciprocate, right? They're going to have to make adjustments to their life, change their way of doing things, their own practices, their lifestyle in order to come into union here with you, in order to make something happen because this is someone who does have a very strong connection here with you with the lover's card, okay? Some of you guys are messing with the Gemini. All right, let's see. Any other messages here for reciprocity adjustments are being made for Scorpio? 
Yep, three of cups in reverse. Some of, you, some of you guys, this person has to get rid of a third party in order to come to union with you, right? Some of you guys are like, uh-uh, I'm not having it. I'm not going to be a third wheel, right? You got the wheel energy up in this card. <laughs> uh, this is someone who wants to make adjustments. Perhaps they're letting go of a third party in order to come into union here with you, right? There's too many people in the damn kitchen. Ooh, seven of swords. Yeah, they have to change their ways. So if you're dealing with a liar, a cheater, a deceiver, a manipulator, a stealer, Seven of Swords, that's what that's about. Lying behind your back, trying to get away with something. They got to change that because that ain't working. That ain't working. So your person is now realizing that they got to change. There's adjustments that are needed on their part. They can't stay in this manipulative energy, being deceptive, being secretive, okay? So this is someone who's now, you know, they're spying on you. Page of Swords came out. We got the page, back to good old times, okay? So this is someone's reminiscing of the past, Wishing that they can go back to the good old times when you guys were together. Oops. Let me see. Back to the good old times. Look at that. I love this card. It's like, you know, two people walking. Maybe they went shopping. You know, the good old times where you guys didn't even have to make plans. You just got up and you said, okay, let's, let's just go and get something to eat. Let's go out on a date. Let's go to the movies, right? All right, let's see. Back to the good old times. It's like that Six of Cups energy, reminiscing, nostalgia. What's going on with Scorpio? Back to gold times. The Four of Swords. Your person is not telling you that. They are definitely um, reminiscing big time, reflecting about this connection, about their their relationship with you, right? When, when things were good, when things were sweet, when things were fun and simple, right? The Four of Swords of your person is in recovery. They're um, doing a lot of resting, contemplating on their life. Like, really seriously contemplating their life. Because that tower, mm-hmm. I feel like once you guys separated from this person, things, like, fell down. Like, the, everything around them, their stability, everything that they knew kind of, like, was destroyed. I'm getting something could have backfired in them as well if they pursued another third party. I feel like that, that situation crumbled. That situation didn't go anywhere. So your person's definitely doing a lot of thinking with the Four of Swords energy, reminiscing of the past times with you. We have the Emperor. So this is someone who um, could be your child's father. This is someone who wants to step up to the plate. This is someone who's getting themselves together, right? This could be someone who who's now um, trying to build their life, okay? Trying to do the right thing. Be that Emperor, the Alpha type energy here for you. Masculine or feminine. This is someone who wants to take charge of you, of the connection, We have passion and desire still alive. Okay, let's get one more card for the emperor. Back to the good old times. Yep, death in reverse. This is someone who wants a resurrection. They want to come back, Scorpio. This is someone from the past, a blast from the past, because they're coming across as someone who's done some work. Some of you guys, um, they're maturing. Okay, they see stability with you and it came after a tower moment, some kind of big realization or destruction in their life where they're coming to now realize that, wow, Scorpio, you are the person for me. The lovers is here. They have to make a decision to let go of a bad, of a bad habit, bad lifestyle, bad decisions that they've made here. Right. And it looks like they're willing to do that because the death in reverse is that there's something that came to an end. They're wanting a rebirth. They're wanting a resurrection. That's your energy, Scorpio. Let's see. Passion and desire still alive. Yeah, Queen of Cups in reverse. Some of you guys, you don't love this person anymore. Or if, or if you still love this person, you're really hurt by this person's actions, okay? Some of you guys, they feel like you don't care about them anymore. The Queen of Cups in reverse. I just feel more than anything, it's like you, you're just hurt. Some of you guys have emotionally closed off from this person. We got the King and Queen of Cups coming out, divine partnership in here. Some of you guys are dealing with your twin flame, all right? Um, King and Queen of Cups is here for sure. So there's love, but I feel if someone is emotionally close off to protect themselves, but I feel deep down, there's still passion. There's still desire. Look at that. Mm hmm. Yeah. You guys still want each other. You do. What's up? What's up with this uh, passion and desire? I'm getting a lot of sexual attraction here. Sexual desire four cups, but someone is not interested or someone is acting like they're not interested. Scorpio, that's your energy. Are you acting like you don't want this person anymore? Hmm. 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 Yep. Someone's holding back. Four Pentacles. <laughs> See, I'm really getting some twin flame energy here. It's like when one person wants it, the other person doesn't. It's like that runner chaser type of stuff. Okay. So, Scorpio. I feel some of you guys are so hurt by this person with the Queen of Cups in reverse. You guys are holding back from this person. Knowing that fair knowing well enough that you still desire and you're passionate about this person, but I feel some of you guys are guarded. 
Some of you guys have already given your person, this person your heart and your soul and you love them to the core and now you guys have take a step back. You've, clo you've closed off your emotions and feelings. And I feel some of you guys are acting like you're not interested, okay? But mm, let's see. What's the outcome here for Scorpio and this person? Let's get the outcome. Ooh, okay. Oh, ooh, King of Wands. Someone's going to pursue you hard, and we got the world. So this was divinely orchestrated. This, this was necessary. But I feel like your person is coming in hard because look at there. Look at this person. King of Wands doesn't always have the best reputation, but in, in the upright, I feel like this is someone, again, who still has a lot of desire, a lot of passion, um, wanting some kind of movement, action towards you. They could be coming in very quick as well, but what I'm seeing is that this was necessary. This breakup, this separation, the world, there could be some karma here, some karmic debt that was due on your person's end, um, but I do see that this is something that's going to come back around. This ain't done. Is what I'm seeing. There's some kind of there's some kind of resurrection, okay? The death in reverse. They, there's something that ain't done here, Scorpio. Okay, whether you whether you are resisting it or not, okay? There's something here that's coming back together. All right, let's see. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna get some messages from your person. What would they say? Okay, this is from my um my oracle deck. It's called Soulmates and Separation Unspoken Love Messages. Um, the ones that I use here is. Soulmates and Separation, The Epiphany, okay? For those of you guys are interested, it's on my Etsy shop, okay? All right, let's see. What would this person say to Scorpio if they could? What do they want to tell Scorpio right now? Any messages here for Scorpio? Any messages for Scorpio? I feel like a fool for losing you. Mm-hmm. Someone feels very foolish because they perhaps was not ready. They made me bad decisions, right? And they cost the connection and they feel foolish. Mm-hmm. Feeling foolish. I miss you more now that we are apart. I still feel your presence, your energy around me. So this is someone who's not gotten over you, okay? They are reminiscing, right? They're thinking about the good old times. They're missing you, right? And this is someone who wants to change, right? They know they need to change. Adjustments are being made here. They miss you and they feel you. This is someone who... um. They're having a difficult time without you, right? The tower came down. They're having some fears that perhaps they've lost you, all right? I need the messages here. Oops, okay. We have my pride and ego led us astray. So some of you guys, they may have had some pride and ego issues. Uh, may have been the reason as to why they made bad decisions about you, about the connection, okay? I wish you can understand that this was a difficult decision for me. In fact, I still struggle with it. Wow. So, yeah, whatever decision that this person made, bad decision, yeah. Mm -hmm. No more bad decisions. Whatever this decision was, it was difficult for them, apparently, okay? It wasn't something that... It was something that they struggled with, okay? So whether it was giving up a third party, we do have some kind of release of a third party energy here. Um, if there was some kind of alcohol, addiction, drugs or something, some kind of toxicity, right? There, This is something that this person really struggled with. Wow. Um, and it's not that they didn't love you, okay? It's not that they didn't love you, but this was a difficult thing for them to do, okay? Okay. I spend a lot of time thinking about you, wishing things were different. So yeah, they're definitely reminiscing and thinking hardcore about you, right? Queen of Cups, King of Cups, they do have a lot of love for you. There is, there is definitely a lot of emotions here. And they wish that things were different. They wish that they had you back, right? Some of you guys, if you're not interested in taking their offer right now um, or in the near future, yeah, they wish that things were different. They wish that it hadn't come to this. So, Scorpio, that's what I got for you guys. Check out your bonus reading on Vimeo if you're interested. Um, ch -ch -ch private love reading, $35 for a love tarot spread. Check me out. I hope you guys have a great remainder of your week. Take care. Love and light.